The Dragonfly House Children's Advocacy Center in Davie County says it needs more money to continue providing services to children who have been abused. This comes after the nonprofit's been dealing with a more than 35% cut in federal dollars over the course of the last several years. Fox 8's Natasha Lagur has more on what the center's doing to raise awareness. Every child's story matters, now more than ever. The Dragonfly House Children's Advocacy Center in Moxville provides a safe place for kids who have experienced trauma. These cases are hard. Looking in their little faces after knowing what they've been through and hearing them tell their stories is devastating. Executive Director for the Dragonfly House, Brandy Reagan, says their services matter, offering medical examination, mental health services, victim advocacy, and community outreach and education. But the services are at risk after federal funding through the Victims of Crime Act has decreased over the last few years. We are all at risk as a nonprofit. Um, one bad year of fundraising, one year of no federal grant, one year of any bad thing happening can harm our staff in a way that we have to operate with less people. The nonprofit still receives state funds. North Carolina Senator Steve Jarvis says the state has increased its funding to advocacy centers for the past 10 years, but it's not enough, so they will discuss increasing that amount next year. Our children are our future, and if we don't address our future and the future leaders of the next generation, we've got to continue to advocate for all children. It's this support from state, county, and U.S. Senators Reagan is looking for so that the nonprofit can continue to help children. We need them healthy. We need them in a mentally safe place. We need them to overcome the trauma of their childhood. And in order to do that, they need the services that we provide. In Moxville, Natasha Lagur, Fox 8 News.